And so today we released the results for activity in the international trademark system, which we call the Madrid system, <coughs> uh, worldwide for 2014. Uh, we see some growth in the system, in the use of the system. So we now have about, we had last year 47,000 in round terms, international trademark applications filed. Uh, it was a growth of about 2.3%. Uh, it's interesting to see, I think, two things. First of all, that the United States of America became the top country of origin for international trademark applications. That may surprise some that <coughs> it was not already in that position, but it's a relatively speaking new member of the international trademark uh, system. And so we see a growing acceptance of that system and a growing use of that system by American enterprises. The second thing that I think that we see with international trademark system uh, is its growing geographical reach around the world. Uh, so this is a system which is in expansion. Uh, there are now about 93 contracting parties. One of those contracting parties covers 17 countries, namely the African Intellectual Property uh, Office. So it covers about 110 countries now. Uh, and we will see further uh, expansion of the system in this regard in the coming year or years. Notably, most of the ASEAN countries, the countries of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, are committed to joining the system. Several of them are already in it. Canada will come into the system. And we hope that a number of Latin American countries will also join the system in the coming years to make it a truly global system.